So the biggest British scholarship is back and it is currently open for 2023 applications. This scholarship is referred as the biggest British scholarship because of the benefits of this scholarship. First of all, you don't have to pay anything. And apart from that, you will still get paid every month. They'll pay you for studying in the UK. So in this video, I will tell you all about this scholarship and I'll tell you all the benefits, the application timeline, and how to apply for this beautiful scholarship. This is a life-changing opportunity for so many people out there who may not have the money to sponsor themselves abroad. Here is a beautiful opportunity for you. Please don't miss it. Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. I am Tina Merim, and if it's your first time here, hello, you are most welcome. Please kindly hit the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel, like and share this video. And if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for tuning in today and this beautiful scholarship is the Chevening scholarship Chevney scholarship is a fully funded master's scholarship for international students who wish to study in the uk i i haven't seen any scholarship in the uk that covers 100 percent tuition fee and still have to pay you for studying in the uk but with Chevening scholarship they cover 100%. Even your flight fees, they pay all of this and they still pay you while you study in the UK. You know that as beautiful as this scholarship is, it is going to be hot cake because so many people are applying for this scholarship. Every year, they get over 17,000 applications. However, they only offer 1,500 scholarships every year that means it is going to be an intensive scholarship for you to be awarded a chevron scholarship you must be going for a master's program no matter the course you are going for you will be sponsored on this scholarship the scholarship period is roughly one year one academic year so if your program is for two years they may not be able to sponsor you now the beautiful part of this scholarship that's the benefit of this scholarship Number one, Chevney will pay your full tuition fee, a monthly stipend of about a thousand plus to cover for your cost of living, housing, you know, and all of that in the UK. The exact amount they will give you depends on whether you are studying inside or outside London. So of course, for people studying inside London, they tend to get more than those studying outside London. And this depend will be given to you on the 21st of every month. And this scholarship does not prevent you from taking up extra part-time jobs. So it doesn't mean that because you get paid every month, you will not take up other jobs. No, you will take up other jobs if you want to. But if you feel you are okay with the stipend and the tuition fee that has been covered, you can also relax and not work. They will also cover an economy class flight from to and from your country give you an arrival settlement allowance they will give you 75 pounds towards your tuberculosis test fees and this is to those that need it and finally they will give you a top-up travel allowance i mean pocket money you get and these are all the benefits of this scholarship and so much more like they have a community also in the uk or in the city where you are studying so you also get to meet people you network with people there are so many activities as well going on with this chevron scholarship and scholars so you get this opportunity to network with people meet with people go to some programs they organize some programs for their scholars sometimes you go to this program like i always say you are not just here to study you are also here to make connections make networks and you know improve your life in every good way for you to apply for this scholarship you must be eligible now these are the criteria for you to be eligible for this scholarship one you must be from a chevron approved country so what you need to do if you are not sure you are from a chevron approved country just go on chevron website go to the countries on there and check if your country is on there but i know most african and asian countries are on there so you must be willing to go back to your country at the end of your program three you must have completed your undergraduate program and your results should be good enough to be able to gain you a place in a uk university or you must have a, a two years work experience you should apply to about three universities and get a place in at least one of them now the application timeline for chevron scholarship chevron scholarship takes roughly eight to 12 months from the application date to the day you move to the UK is roughly one year. So application for Chevron Scholarship opens on the 2nd of August and will close on the 1st of November, 2022. And this is for 2023 applications. So if you're looking to study or you're looking to go on a Chevron Scholarship for 2023, you should start applying now. You have about 75 days to go from today. And I think it's the same every year. If you're applying for 2024, the application may start around 
on 2nd of August 2023 and close on the 1st of November 2023. So it's for every every single year. So from mid-November to December 2022, they will sift the applications based on eligibility criteria. They will check those who applied and are eligible for the scholarship and they will sift them from those who are not eligible. From early to mid-February 2023, applicants who are now success successful will be shortlisted for an interview. Of course, they would let you know via email or via your contact details if you are successful for this next step. From February to late April is your document deadline. There are some documents you can you may not be able to submit from now till 1st of November. But from February to late April, if you don't submit all those documents, you will not be able to submit them again. Now from 27th of February to 28th of April, interviews will take place. And from June 2023, the results will be out for those who successfully made it to become a Chevening Scholar. Now, if you get to that level, congratulations to you in advance. On the 13th of July 2023 is your offer deadline. So if by 13th of July 2023, you've not gotten an offer from a UK university, you may not be able to take on this scholarship. So if you look to apply for this scholarship, you might as well start applying to UK universities so that they can offer you a place in a university in the UK. If you don't know how to go about your application or you want an agent to help you with your application, get in touch with me on Instagram. My handle will be in the description and it will also be somewhere on the screen. And I'll connect you to an agent who would help you with this application to get you a place in a university, at least three universities. From September to October 2023, you will start making your way to the UK to start your master's program in the UK. Yay! Congratulations again to you if you make it this far. Now I'm going to give you a simple step-by-step -step process on how to apply for this scholarship. In my next video, I will show you a practical demonstration on how to apply for Chevening Scholarship. If by now you have not subscribed to my channel, kindly do well to subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't liked this video yet, please do well to hit on the like button and like this video and subscribe if you haven't done so already. So for when you go to Chevening site, you have to choose your country. You will click and there will be a drop down list of countries. You select your country from there. So if your country is not on there, then that means you are not from a Chevening um, approved country. But if your country is on there, then congratulations, go ahead to the next step, which is to create an account. Of course, before you can start your application with, for Chevening Scholarship, you must create an account. When you are done creating your account, you will fill out your personal details, save the details, and validate your profile. Then you can go ahead and start your application. They will ask you some questions. Of course, you have to answer these questions based on your circumstances. Don't go and copy another person's answers and put as yours because if you are eventually selected for the interview and your answers doesn't really correlate with what you are telling them on the interview day, you may not be okay. So just make sure you are answering the questions based on your individual circumstances. They will ask you to write some essay, essays about your leadership quality and about stuff like that. You should also do all of that. You should take time to think about this and write them. And of course, get your documents ready. So at this point, the documents you need to get ready include your undergraduate certificates, your English language qualification, if necessary, that could be your WAIEC, IELTS, TFL, and the rest of them. If you've also gotten an unconditional offer letter from a university, you can also get that ready at this point. In case you are invited for a, for the interview, you need to get your, your referees ready because they will ask you to upload two references before the interview. Passport and other ID documents, you can also get them ready. And when all these things are ready, you upload them when you get to that level and of course, submit your application. And yes, you are done applying for your Chevening Scholarship. In my next video, I will show you a practical step on applying for this scholarship. Don't forget, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so that you can be notified when I post that video. Now, this is everything about this scholarship. Believe me honestly, studying in the UK as an international student and having to pay nothing is more like a blessing. It is beautiful. But then in my subsequent videos, based on my own opinion, I will tell you why this scholarship may not be for you and why you should not apply for Chevening Scholarship. All right. And that's the end of this video. I hope it was helpful. Please don't forget to tune in back for the practical demonstrations if you are interested. And if not, if you know someone that may be interested, kindly share this video to them. But until I see you again, do take care, stay safe and bye.